Hi, I'm Sharon. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Lamini. Lamini is the enterprise large language model platform for building and fine tuning your own large language model. Large language models are really the new IP in this next generation of computing with generative AI. And today we're really excited to announce that we've integrated with Snowflake so that you can build and fine tune your own large language models inside of the security of your Snowflake environment and directly on your Snowflake data. Let's take a look at a technical example walking through exactly that. Okay, so we have Lamini running in Snowflake. So you can see up here that this is the Lamini playground running in Snowflake and many fine tuning examples here that you can take a look at. Um, here's also a Llama 2 playground. Uh, and what we wanna focus on today is this API token, uh, the test token within your Snowflake environment that you can then use and pass into the Jupyter Hub that we have also hosted through Lamini and Snowflake. So right here, you're passing in your test token right here into the config. This is just authentication so you can actually run the model. And then you can grab some data sets. I'm just gonna grab some public data sets here that we put together so you can easily work with them. Um, but of course you can query this out of your Snowflake database as well. And then some really simple code to actually get started training your first model. So what's going on here is we are loading up the question answer model from Lamini's Llama library. And here it's just passing in that test token through your config. And then you're able to load question answers. I'm gonna choose the Taylor Swift JSONL file. Load that in here, have a little bit of fun, fine tune this model and then evaluate it, which you'll all be able to see in the interface. So let's run this now. All right, fantastic. The training job has been submitted and we can check the status of job three right here. And so this should be uh, just right here uh, in this train tab. All right, it's queued up and then you can see it go in progress uh, as, as it moves towards completion. Here's a failed state. There are a lot of different states that you can see um, right here of, of when the model is completed. Cool, so the model has completed training here. So, uh, you know, it's answering questions about Taylor Swift and the eval results. You could also take a look at the logs, you know, of, of what happened during training so it can help you debug. Finally, there's a playground that you can just easily run right here. Uh, you can rename this model, so Taylor Swift here. And then of course, you can copy this model ID, which you can then pass back in uh, into the question answer model here. Later on, just to run inference, so model name equals that model ID in a string. And then you can run this LLM and you can continually fine tune it. You can do whatever you want with it. There's also a uh, API, a uh, REST API that you can hook up to your own app uh, to make that super easy to integrate into uh, any kind of production solution. So thank you so much for learning about how to use Lamini in Snowflake. And I hope you have fun building your own large language model applications and excited to see what you build.